Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a really good one, I hope. Um, but basically, we're going to talk about my favorite show, The Society. So this is one of my favorite shows on Netflix. And I think it is one of the top 10 shows on there. So, yeah, don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Anyways, I have to use this mic because my audio on my phone is very trash, so sorry about that. But anyways, I'm going to do kind of a sit-down topic, talk about the characters, and kind of just talk about the show and my opinion, but mostly focus on the characters. So, yeah. Don't watch this video if you haven't seen The Society. I will definitely recommend watching it before watching this video because I will give you a bit of a spoilers. So don't watch it if you haven't seen the video or the show. Sorry, oh my god. Let me explain what the show is first before I get into the characters. So the show is basically about these group of teenage people teenage kids and they are in this town called newham and their parents disappear like they just disappear and they don't know where they're at so basically it starts with like this smell and then from the smell they get um taken away so they go on like this school trip and then when they come back you know early because something had happened i don't really quite remember what had happened but they come back early and they come back to their town being completely empty and no one is there and there were like about four or three bus drivers and one of the bus drivers very important which we'll get into later in the show but yeah so basically they come and they realize that their parents aren't there and basically everyone that runs the town and the society in that small town of newham but basically they had to realize that they have to make their own society and yeah it's a bit of a shit show guys but it is a really good show and definitely recommend it okay let's get into the characters okay so the first character i will be talking about is cassandra so cassandra is basically the main person on the show and she's basically like you know the head bitch of the town so um she's kind of a boss ass i love her and she just represents what the show should have been but obviously she you know died and it's kind of hard for her to make the town good so you know without her the town obviously turned to shit but i think she was a really good character and she definitely brought the plot along and made the plot of the show better even if she wasn't there you guys might see a glare in my glasses but i genuinely cannot see the phone so i'm really sorry about that but it will have to you'll have to deal with it the next character i will be talking about is ali which is cassandra's younger sister i don't quite they don't quite make it obvious or kind of make it stated but i don't really know if ali is in the same grade as cassandra or she came back to visit and somehow just ended up being stuck in this alternate universe or whatever ali is probably one of my favorite characters um, I think I like her a lot more now that I know more about the actor who plays her because Caitlyn is so amazing, the actor that plays Allie. I really like Caitlyn as a person, so I think I like Allie as a character a lot more. I think she has her moments where I don't agree with stuff because um, 
she's a bit of extreme she's more extreme definitely than cassandra um obviously we didn't get to know much of her personality cassandra's but we do we do know that like you know ali is a bit more i guess selfish in a way and just kind of is a little bit more um rational than extreme rational than cassandra so i really like her for that and i commend her for making a lot of tough decisions that she probably didn't want to have which definitely she didn't want to have in the beginning but i think her character develops a lot throughout the um show and you kind of really get to know like she's scared and she doesn't know what's going on she misses her parents she misses her sister but you know she has to do what is done and she is really strong for that and really brave for that so i really really like her start off with the siblings sorry so next sibling pair i'm going to talk about is sam and campbell sam i love i adore him i think he's one of those characters that's very like underestimated under underrated i guess you kind of just don't think that sam is like a very important character like he doesn't really you know add much to the plot because he doesn't really do much and you know other than the fact that him and becca have like raised are going to raise this baby and are kind of like you know the next generation of that new society or whatever but i mean it is great and i love him and he is really sweet and i think he deserves more credit than he's giving than he's given and i think that he will probably surprise us in the next season hopefully we get it soon um that you know i feel like he could be like a really like tough badass and they're just not showing it right now because you know it's the first season you don't want to give away too much right away but yeah definitely one of my characters as well he has this a, a, he's just like so like warm-hearted and kind campbell on the other hand i'm looking at my notes by the way in my bullet journal i wrote down the characters name and stuff but campbell on the other hand is a crazy guy he does not care about anyone he's literally a psychopath like they actually say that he's a psychopath in the show because he just doesn't care about anyone he kills everyone and he doesn't care he doesn't kill everyone <laughs> people think that he will kill everyone because he's like a psychopath you know um but i really do i understand where they were going with him as a character and i think they did a good job doing that and the actor that plays campbell i think his name is tony i don't i don't remember i'm sorry he's really good i love him as a human being um obviously the character campbell is not someone that i don't think everyone is supposed to like but he has his moments um, he has his moments where um, people think that he's an, a complete asshole and I hate him probably 95, no, 98% of the time and then like 2% of the time I'm just like, okay, he seems like really funny he says the craziest shit and I think they're hilarious. So he's definitely like an evil villain that like I hate but then I kind of like low key in the back of my mind still kind of like, I don't know. Anyways obviously I still kind of hate him because he's just like he's just always there I feel like he shouldn't always be there but I mean it happens it's okay I digress anyways Will he's one of those characters that like low-key I didn't like in the beginning because I was just like okay what is your purpose here sir why did they put you in this show and I kind of realized that he was kind of like that rock that Ali really needed and I started to like him a little bit more towards the end for sure. But he started off like really annoying. I really did not like him in the beginning because I was like, okay, well, kind of being an asshole to Allie, like after she kind of confessed her freaking feelings to you. But like I said, I like him more towards the end and he kind of showed his purpose in the show and showed that like, you know, he's a character 
and we love him and Allie and Will should be together period Helen another character that at first I was just like okay there's something in my eye um at first I was just like what is her purpose um I'm kind of confused she kind of seems like you know that like rich girl all these people are kind of rich but I'm like that rich girl that's just like no one really likes but like they tolerate because you know she's always there but then I'm like okay she's like this church girl and then like you know she also likes guns and I'm just like okay cool period she's a conservative I think she wants to get married with Luke period go for her so you know I did like her again more towards the end and really like after like the first episode because the first episode she was like really mean and stuff um but yeah I definitely liked her way more throughout the show um because she was just like okay like I get it like I love her she's also like kind of like low-key and a villain but like she's one of those villains that like you just love no matter what because like you know she's a queen and we love her and we love her and luke because they're just like one of the cutest couples and i think one of the strongest one of the strongest couples on the show because um they actually like each other anyways (laughs) luke love him also another character where i was just like okay i don't get it but i get it you know like i love him um he's an opposite i didn't like him towards the end because of what happened if you have seen the show you probably know what i'm talking about he was just like he's very easily manipulative manipulated and i'm not here for it uh jason and clark i will group them together because they have like kind of like a significant role but not that much if that makes sense they're like a secondary character but you know a lot about them but not enough to be, like, the main characters where you know, like, every little detail about them. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, they're part of the Guard, which is, like, the police in their society, and, um, they're kind of assholes, and, again, easily manipulated, and just kind of really dumb and stupid, and I don't like them. Anyway, Grizz, love him. He is the sweetest person in that show, I think. Because he genuinely just really wants people to be happy and like they just, he just wants them to be okay. And like when Allie was going through it, he like gave her like that little note and it was just so cute and he made her tea. And I just thought the whole scene was just so beautiful and I just love him as a character. He's just so beautiful. Like him and Sam, another one of the perfect couples in this show will just him just really sam and grizz chef's kiss and that's it and then helena and luke love them but they're like after sam and grizz period okay being another little she's like another like secondary character that like we know a little bit more about but we don't know enough to be like the main characters or like kind of be like super attached to them um, I am kind of low-key attached to her because she's just so cute and her name is Bean, which is like so cute um, But also she's just like kind of there She's part of like the the getting us home committee or something um, but Again, I don't know much about her so I can't really relate to her, but I just love her name and I think she is really sweet and um, Love her anyways uh, I'll go into Gordy because we were talking about Bean Gordy he is so smart and so like what the heck like how how in the world you know how like how are you so smart and then so nice and like just use your smartness for good i don't know um yeah we just love him another chef's kiss because he's just perfect lexi i hate her i hate her and i hate her (laughs) let me explain in the beginning um, I don't know if it was her. I want to say it was her. I really should, like, look back at the show and you see if it was actually her and if I'm talking about the right person. But in the beginning, she was, like, kind of, like, low-key, like, losing it to the fact that, like, her parents weren't there and, that, like, she was gonna die or whatever. And so she locked herself in the ho- in her house, which I was like, okay, same. I kind of get you. But then, like, once she started... St- uh, once she started actually getting out of her house and like 
freaking living her life she was just like such a huge bitch and like she didn't like what Cassandra was doing and she didn't like what Allie was doing and the whole like Thanksgiving improv scene was so unnecessary and she was like Ugh, like it was just improv like I didn't mean to do that like it's just what happened I'm like no girl that was like yeah obviously you probably didn't have it planned but you low-key had it planned you know what I mean so I didn't like her in that scene so she's like that's so unnecessary you're just causing problems for no reason um I did feel bad at her for uh, like one second when the whole like guard scene happened she got her period or whatever um and then Allie like didn't listen to her like I felt bad for like literally two seconds but then I'm like okay girl like they didn't really see anything like just get over it um but then I feel like how she you know she felt like humiliated in a way but I'm just like okay girl like you feel humiliated okay like just get them off the guard you don't have to like overthrow overthrow Allie like it's just not necessary and then like you don't know what you're doing like you're just saying all this shit because you hate Allie but and you hate what you know was done to you but you're not you don't know what you're doing like you don't know what it is to run like a society and run all these freaking crazy ass teenagers and i mean Allie barely knows what she's doing too but she knows more than her so you know anyways let's move on becca love her i think again she's one of those secondary characters that like we that we know a little bit more about but not as much as like let's say ali and like will and stuff because we don't we see them in every episode but we don't see them a lot and we don't know a lot about them, especially the uh, mystery, mysterious baby daddy. So she gets pregnant, if you didn't know. And uh, she tells Sam, which is the only person that knows her, like, the true, real, uh, her real true secret or whatever. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, take care of this baby with you. I'm your best friend, da 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 Then, you know, he gets involved with Grizz and it's a shit show. Anyways, um... But, you know, I still love her. She's a cute little girl. I say little because she's, like, really tiny. Um, and she's really nice. She's also, like, a strong-headed, like, I don't give a fuck, you know, person. So I love her for that. And her baby is cute. Harry. Oh, my God, Harry. I have a love-hate relationship with him. Because at first, I kind of really thought he was annoying but I didn't mind him I I I liked him and especially like re-watching it so I re-watched it during quarantine obviously like re-watching it especially like in the beginning I was like yes like I love him like I really like want him to be a good guy because I had like forgotten like what happened and stuff and then towards the end I'm just like okay Harry why why like depression got you that bad that like you know all this stuff i'm like it's those damn drugs it's those damn drugs bro those drugs like messed him up i don't know why he had to do that but he hurt my heart and i don't know if he can ever repay it so hopefully in the second season he can fix that please leave in the comments down below if you agree with this because i really 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 want it and Harry to be together like as soon as soon as they hooked up I really wanted them to be together I really wanted them like something to happen there um I know Allie didn't seem like she was really into the sex which I feel bad for her but I really wanted them to like kind of because I don't know like I feel like he has like a uh, like a soft spot for hit for her her and i feel like she loki does too but she doesn't want to admit it um but you know with everything that happened it just it didn't happen and then he got addicted to drugs so yeah so again i guess he's like a villain but he's like one of those villains that like i really like and i want i want them to do better you know like i'm i'm rooting for them kelly so kelly is um harry's ex-girlfriend and then will's kind of lover in the beginning but then you know will finds out that he like has feelings for Allie, whatever 
kind of annoying. I didn't mention that. He was annoying because of that. Anyways, um, Kelly, I love her, though. Like, since the beginning, I thought, like, you know, it was just, like, brave and good for you that, like, you know, women power. She, like, got away from Harry. Like, good for her. Um, and then she became a doctor and freaking delivered Becca's baby. Like, she's just a great character, and I love her. And she's not flawed in any way, period. L, I feel really bad for her. But at the same time, I don't know how to feel about her because Loki, like, I feel like at first she knew what was going to happen with her and Campbell and she kind of liked it. Not saying that, like, she likes getting abused. That's definitely not what I'm saying. I think at first she liked the fact that, like, she was getting attention from a guy that she probably never has felt before or never has gotten and then when she realized that he was kind of a weirdo she kind of like Loki wasn't too like not into it like I think she was a little bit more into it than she herself thought she was um and then when she realized he was like a psychopath and like wanted to kill her and stuff then then she realized like hell no I'm not into him anymore but I think just the fact that he was a weirdo in the beginning and like kind of nice and like sweet talking to her and stuff she she was like into it and she was like I mean I guess easily manipulated again but yeah I feel bad for her so I really hope that like she gets you know a good season too like I feel like she's having like kind of a shitty life her dog was killed she almost died you know I think she needs a good a good a good life when which is Clark's girlfriend, and she's also, again, the um, secondary character that we don't know much about, but we know a little bit more than the people in the background, you know? Um, so, she's like, whatever, she's just there, uh, she's kind of just like, you know, a character that, like, I had to include, because, like, we know her name, and not just, like, the people in the background, you know? Um, so she's just like whatever, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind her down. So the people that literally just stand in the background and you wonder like, what are they doing and what's wrong with their faces? Those people I'm going to talk about. Um, again, kind of annoying, kind of hate the fact that like, I mean, I guess that's like adds to the plot, but I, I hate the fact that like they just believe everything right away and they also just go along with everything right away i think that there's one background character that like we know a little bit more about because she went on that first hiking trip with um grizz i don't remember her name if i find a picture i will post it here um but she is just she i like her a lot because you know she's actually like spoken out and she kind of that's the the chair I'm sitting on not me farting um she kind of you know spoke out and kind of um realized like hey what the heck is going on like clearly something's up like Ali is just not like a crazy person like that you know I don't I don't believe you guys and I really um admire her for that and she's also one of the other like or one of the background people that actually do speak up and you hear a little bit more about so I commend her for that and I um like her for that the rest of the background people I could live without because they are annoying and easily manipulated and I'm not here for it (laughs) um and they threw rocks at Ellie so no bye sis bye so that's the end of the video um if you guys want me to do more like of these kind of you know commentary videos please let me know because i actually do enjoy watching them i watch a lot of glee uh commentary videos so if you guys want me to do videos on glee i haven't watched it in a really long time but i will rewatch it for you guys if you guys want to see that um so yeah let me know or what other tv show or movie or whatever you guys want me to talk about and maybe react to or whatever the case is right um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below other videos you guys want to see from me 
and subscribe definitely to let me know that you guys like watching my videos and want to watch more i post a lot of different type of content on here mostly makeup and like beauty related but i am super open and you know willing to do whatever you guys want to want want to see and i really like a lot of type i like to watch a lot of different type of videos so i'm willing to make a lot of different type of videos so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching and don't forget that someone out there loves you because i know i do Mwah. bye guys